Hello and welcome to today's video. It's been a really long time since I've been on YouTube and it's been an even longer time since I went through the horses that are in my herd. So if you're new here, my name is Brandy and this channel is all about horses and my real life experience with horses. Don't mind me right now, my, my face is frozen. It's like, I don't know, maybe three or four degrees um, in Michigan. So, but I'm gonna quickly go through the horses that are just in my pasture. I do have a, <laughs> my mouth is literally frozen. I do have a few other horses too, but I'll talk about them in a different video. This is just a real quick go through and um, just introduce you to everybody. Okay, this is Yukon. He is a, oh, I don't know, maybe 16 year old quarter horse gelding. He is not mine, but I am borrowing him to use for my program. He's worked out real good as a lesson horse and he's fitting in okay with the herd. Uh, I'm not sure how long I'll have him. He's been here since about August and today is, it's January 20th right now. So he's been here for a little while. Um, and then let's go over here. This is Mr. Nash. Nash is, I think he's five this year. Nash is a rescue that I picked up. It'll be two years ago in May. Um, well, he came to me, um, I was a foster home for him and ended up keeping him because I liked him so much. So he is not broke to ride yet. And um, he's just got very minimal training. So my plan is to very soon get him going under saddle, but I'm never really in a hurry for that sort of thing. So he can sit as long as he needs to until I have the time. And this here is Mr. Manzer. Manzer is going on three. He'll be three in May. And same thing, Manzer has not, um, has not been employed yet. He is just hanging out and growing. Oh, and he's going to be, him and Yukon are buddies. But he is filling out really nice. I'm excited to start working with him. But again, I'm in no hurry. They're looking at, I have a sled full of hay nets over there. So that's suddenly very interesting. Manzer just noticed it. And this here is Dexter. Dexter came here in July. And um, I got him from my mom. He's 20 years old and basically just kind of sat in the pasture pretty much since he was maybe a, uh, a, I think she had him from the time he was a weanling. So, but he is now um, a permanent resident of my farm and is being used as a lesson horse and he's quite wonderful. Everybody really loves him. Everybody knows Sally. Sally might be a little shy since I have the camera. Yep. She's just has always been that way. She's like, you got a camera in your hand and I'm leaving. Here is Nakona, my Appaloosa mare. She's, oh, I don't know. She's 14 this year, I think. I don't remember. I think she was born in 2007. I could be wrong. She is the herd boss, 100%. She's the one that's in charge here. This is Nellie. Nellie is, oh, she's 15 or 16. Nellie is, we think she's an appendix quarter horse. She was a rescue. I've had her for, um, since 2015, I think. And Nellie's got, she has been off work for a couple months now because she's got quite an injury. Um, it's her back leg here. I maybe should do a video explaining that eventually. Um, I'm not gonna go into details now, but she's still healing. She's got some proud flesh there and I anticipate her um, being off for at least a couple more months, if not possibly retired for good. So we'll see. I am considering breeding Nellie this spring. Um, so we'll see how, how that all pans out. Totally depends on this in injury, but um, if she can't be used for riding, Breeding her, I think, is a very good option. And I would be breeding her to a jack, so I would be getting a mule. And then here we have Annabelle. Annabelle is, oh, I think she's the same age as Nakona, so she's like 14 or 15. I can't remember all, all of them. So Annabelle is one of my most popular lesson horses. She's quite wonderful. Annabelle does a little bit of everything. I just started driving her and that's been super fun. We have a drag that we use and go through the snow with. 
here we have Lucky, my one-eyed pony. He is 20 or 21 this year. He's originally from Canada. He's a Welsh pony and my son rides him. And he's a lesson. He's used for lessons as well. This is Ona. Ona is my filly that I got from North Dakota. And I have not done a heck of a lot with her. She is five. And I eventually <laughs> will get her broke to ride. So it's like I've had so many horses in for training this year. And it's been wonderful. Absolutely have enjoyed it so much. But it doesn't leave me a lot of time for my own horses. So I have... Ona and Nash and Manzer and Sally to really dedicate some serious time to this year. And when it happens, it happens. I guess I'm really not in a hurry, so it doesn't matter. But she's really filled out a ton. She is such a nice, nice looking mare, and she's such a beefcake. Look at the size of her butt compared to Blossoms. <laughs> she's just a big, bulky mare. I love it. And then Blossom is this one right here. Blossom is my main, my main ride. Um, she's, don't tell anybody, or don't tell my horses, I mean, but Blossom is my favorite. I absolutely love her. Um, so when I say my favorite, I mean she's my favorite horse to ride as of right now. Um, I just really love her. She's 11 maybe, 11 or 12. Oh, and now the girls got to go check out that sled. They're like, there is something scary over here. I've been using 900 pound big square bales. And so they just ran out. So I just threw a, um, a loose bale out here and they were all munching. And I'm like, gosh, this would be a really great video. I should just go through and talk about all of them just a, a minute. But so I collected the three nuts and then we'll put three more out tonight. So they'll have 2,700 pounds of hay in those nets and that lasts them um, six to seven days and the thing I love about it is it keeps them all warm my horses aren't blanketed um, and actually I will tell you this Nellie's injury to her leg is a um, it's a blanket related injury I haven't blanketed horses my entire life and then I do and I get an injury so um, but not saying that you shouldn't blanket your horses. I'm just saying that I'm opting to not blanket. <laughs> so, um, but my horses, they stay warm all winter long by having good quality hay available at all times. And it's not the quantity of the hay, it's just the act of eating that keeps them warm. And they've got really great thick coats um, that are natural and they stay very warm. Hi, Sally. She's like, nope, I don't want that camera in my face. She says, I don't like it. Sally is, I think she's the same age as Nakona and Annabelle. So she's like 14, 15. And she is a mule. So she is um, half donkey, half horse. I don't know what her dam is so because you can you know of course breed any any breed of horse can be bred with a um, a jack and you get a mule so but I don't know what her mother was so I don't know if she's a quarter horse mule or if she's a Arab mule or I, I really I have no idea and I would love to find that out so I'd like to investigate a little bit on that one of these days and see if I can find that out but Sally is She's so wonderful. I've learned so much from her. And when she's not camera shy. Yeah, you. I'm talking about you. Now, if you're new here, most of my horses have their own playlists. Like I said, gosh, I haven't been on YouTube in so long. It's just been, it's been just so busy. I really needed to take a break from some things. And YouTube was one of the things that I kind of had to cut out. So, but if you want to learn more about some of my horses, most of them have their own playlist. This is Bear. This is my daughter's pony. He's, I think he's 18 or 19 this year. He is a wonderful pony. If I could like choose any personality of a horse, 
Maybe bears. He's got the best personality. He's just so sweet. And he just loves his people. He wants to be with his people all the time. Anytime I'm having a bad day and I walk out into the field, it's like bear is always the first one to greet me. And he just is happy to be by you. I love that about him. Oh, there's Manzer again and Blossom. We already did those two. And Nash, we already did him. This is Muffin. Muffin is 22 this year. Actually, so is Nika. Nika, that's Nika, Manzer's mom. And then Muffin, they are the same age. So they were both born in 2000. And I've had Muffin since 2008, I think. So I've had her for a long time. She is the best lesson horse. She's just a wonderful pony. She's so athletic. And she just knows her job really well. She needs... Um, she needs structure at all times. She needs a strong leader. So Muffin is a great lesson horse because she knows that she's got a strong leader there with her all the time. Um, but if she were just like handed over to a kid, <laughs> there's a good chance that kid would end up on the ground a lot. But Muffin does really well as a lesson horse in a controlled environment. She's outstanding. And then Nika is my retired barrel racing horse. Nika is absolutely wonderful she has been my heart horse for many years and now she's just kind of retired she's working off of or she's she is um um healing from she's had just like a really a string of super bad luck ever since pretty much ever since i bred her um a couple of years ago, 2018, I bred her, and she's just had one thing after the, the next. I'm going to get Manzer in here too, just so you guys can see how much they look like. But Nika's just had such bad luck. Um, she did, she did break her splint bone in her um, front leg last winter, and then um, has had some soft tissue injuries that are that are healing so I'm not really sure what she's got going on but basically it was like well let's just do whatever we need to do to get her comfortable and leave her be and let her heal she was added into my program for a little bit this summer used for some walk trot lessons and did really good with that but then all of a sudden she was lame again so so yeah we're just trying to keep her so she's doing something but keeping it minimal like horses are happy to have jobs they like to have things to do and different stuff so Nika always loves to come in and and do things she doesn't like to just sit around doing nothing but she is a wonderful horse she looks really good right now her weight is good that was another thing too for a while she got a little thin but again you can check out her playlist I've got so many videos on Nika all right, well, what I'm going to do now, if you have any questions about any of my horses, you can you can leave a, um, a comment below, and I'll do my best to answer. But and I'll try to get some videos posted for you. I'm going to try to kind of get back into the swing of things, but just do it a little bit, a little less. I'm just trying to do a little less, keeping things easy. Nika has a birthmark up on her right hip. So that is one thing about her and Manzer that is different. And he only has one um, white hind foot. And she has two white hinds leg. I'll just go around and you guys can listen to them sort of munch. I love when the snow is squeaky like this. Hey Blossom. Blossom, she looks like she's a bay right now, but she's actually a buckskin. Her mom was a sorrel and her dad was a cremello, both quarter horses. A lot of people are, um, they question what breed she is frequently because she's very refined and just the way she moves. She moves very, she's very athletic, very smooth mover. Definitely an awesome horse. I love hanging out with my herd. It's so peaceful. Need 
see Annabelle and Nellie. They're good friends. They like to stand together and eat. <laughs> Anika and Manzer are usually together. Blossom and Ona are usually together. Muffin likes to be by Nika as well. And then Nash and Manzer, I think, will forever be friends because they were together for so long. So before I... I had Manzer separated from my herd for a year. And maybe a little over... About a year and a... A year and a few months, I guess. And I had Manzer and Nash together. And then along came Yukon. So when Yukon came, I had the three boys together. And it was nice because we had like... Oh, I'm just tripping here. We had like the two young guys and then the old man to kind of teach them the ropes and um, teach them some manners and stuff. So I added the three of them out with the herd at the same time. That was really a nice way of doing it. Well, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed um, just the little update on my herd. And I'm gonna head in because my hands are frozen and I'm running out of daylight. So thanks so much for joining. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.